Welcome, welcome to Chat with Sleep, man. It's your man, Legacy of Sleep, bro. Alongside with... And I am Armin Raw Twiz, live on the motherfucking set. Yes, sir. And this podcast is brought to you by Armin Raw Inc. That's right. Armin Raw Inc. t-shirts will be available up until April 20th. We're going to have the biggest, biggest party for the Strike Bass Festival. I hope y'all say it in tune. I really don't want to be around no suckers at Strike Bass, but I will be engaging in a couple parties. Man, don't be don't be one of those people, yeah. Um, I'm going to be at a couple parties, but I will not be engaging with no suckers. So if you a lollipop-ass nigga, a rapper, actor, I will not be there. Don't be one of those guys. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I know Amara Twins look like a serious guy, but he is really one of the most down-to-earth fellas I know. Y'all, la- la- ladies... Can I smoke a cigarette in here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Right, pull, pull it out, man. Uh, no, no, I no. just no, I just I just really don't want to be around no suckers. So what's a sucker to you? Cause I show love to everybody. Uh, and my brother used to be like, man, you kick it with some suckers. Hold on, hold on, let me think, let me think. A sucker is one of these motherfuckers who around here just lying to the youth and just 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 uh real life like Taken away from the culture, like a sucker is. It could be a rapper who lying about what he's doing. It could be a person who people look up to who just lying to the youth and telling the youth the bullshit, and they wouldn't even go through the bullshit, or they never have been through the bullshit. You feel me? It's just like suckers. It's just like it's a lot of ways that I see suckers. Like I see if a preacher and he telling he preaching to us and telling us some some shit and. He out here fucking hoes. You like, what? Nigga, how? Yeah, you can't sucker. believe the preacher. Nah. <laughs> nah, it's just like, but people though, you know, like, as a, like, I tell kids to do the right thing at all times. All times. But, if they see me doing the bullshit, with not really, like, uh, explaining to, the, to them why I'm doing the bullshit, then I'm a sucker. Yeah. Because, like, you've you been around me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I tell, like, kids, like, nah, you go to school, go to school, go to school. But, shit, I got mine. Oh, yeah. That's up to you if you get yours. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you to get yours. That's pretty dope that you uh, push education. A lot of a lot of gangster rappers don't push education. Nigga, education is the key, yo. Like, we in a stage now where you can learn from any person. You can learn a lot from a motherfucking dummy, yo. What, what high school did you graduate from? Uh, I graduated from Lakewood, but I went to uh, Lee Central. Oh, shout out to Manny High, though. Nah, I was, <laughs> nah yo, listen. Yo, listen. I was, I was a gator by force. Like, my mom and dad. And, you know, we grew up in kind of like the struggle. So I went to Lee County. And Lee County is like one of the uh, the worst school districts in South Carolina, for mm-hmm. real. Like the poorest. Mm-hmm. But like when my mom and dad got that check, hey. shit, we was going. We had Lakewood. You know what I'm saying? I was over there with the white folks. <laughs> I was over there with the white folks. Like for real, I was over there with the white folks. And that shit just, it was just different. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt dumb as hell when I first got to high school, yo. I remember one day I got, like, my second day of school, yo, I got me and the teacher was like, Mr. McMahon, you got to show us something. And mm-hmm. I was just putting my head on the desk because I didn't know nothing. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I, I mean, how would you rate, what, was it a private school? Nah, Lakewood was not a private school. Oh, it's a public? It's a public school. So- it's just, the education quality was different. Like, what the, 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 the uh, criteria, what they were teaching at the time was different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't learn algebra so I got to 10th grade versus... These kids and something who were learning algebra at ninth grade or eighth grade, you know what I'm saying? What district was it? Was it one, two, like something? Is this his own school district? Like oh, okay. something school district. It, I always thought that was weird about South Carolina with the whole district thing. I understand it, you know, the level yeah. of education, but I just felt that 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 put you below people, and that, that's well, not weird. Uh, it's it's part of uh categorizing, you know what I'm saying? And like it's part of a uh. A, a statue of people like you know like if you from this side of town you go to this school and you kind of deem different because you live over here in the hills not really the hills in South Carolina but you live over here in the gated communities and if you live over here in the hood or you live in the country you just go to school to teach you to read and write you know what I'm saying because it's, it's country yeah. shit like if you from the country all you really need to know is how to read write and count yeah you can make it in life, mm-hmm. read, writing, and counting. But like up here and something, and they want you to learn all this other stuff. And you say you don't really need it, but you kind of do need it because it teaches you. It teaches you. It, it teaches you on a social level, different. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Cause you know who the jocks in school like. When I was going to school, it wasn't no jocks. It was a country ass nigga down the road who was fat, mm-hmm. who was eating all the motherfucking cornbread, who was <laughs> chasing behind the motherfucking pigs. He was the jock cause he was big and strong. Big, strong, fast. That's it. He's yeah. a nigga. Yeah. Pause. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to say it like that, but he's the nigga in the country. Like the nigga who's strong and athletic, who was just country as hell. Mm-hmm. He's the jock, but in uh, different. Like demographics of people, the jock is the guy with all the money, and he don't even have to be that good. He just got to have all the money and the girl. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. See, I I, I love I love uh, perceptions. You know what I'm saying? And uh, since we're on the topic of perceptions, and we talked about suckers, which is also a perception. Like, what would be your perception on the city as a whole? The city as a whole, uh, city as in some of the state. Ooh, Cause see. I need to say the state Cause I can say the city of something Cause I'm from something And I can also say the city of Manning Cause I'm really not from Manning But I be in Manning And I lived in Manning And I know everybody And everybody know me So I can speak on both Like I can speak on the, the, the local region of hip hop And I can also speak on the state So it's like The city if You ask me the city of something Or the city of Manning we'll, 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 we'll do both We'll do city of Manning The city of something uh, I mean, city of, city of summer then, like the city of Sumter is uh, it's a lot of old heads who still kind of like who kind of hold the gates of hip hop, but they just in the way. Like you pay attention to the local DJs from Sumter, mm-hmm. they're older cats. You know what I'm saying? They gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. They gatekeepers. They're the ones that all the young people going to the club to see. Yeah, forty years old. At forty, bro, like you don't really know hip hop. I don't care who you are. Because hip-hop is a useful thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always about the youth. It's always about what's new. And if you can't keep up with the times, you you out of here. So mm-hmm. it's like, something is just like, a lot of uh, older heads are not uh, partaking in the youth for as hip-hop. And that's, the, that's, the, that's what's really wrong with something. Manning, Manning problem is, everybody wants to be the man and man. Everybody wants to be seen. Everybody wants to be heard. Uh, everybody in Manning just feel like they entitled to it. Like, oh, I'm entitled to be the king of Manning. Oh, I'm entitled to be the, the lord of the trap. But you really not a lord of the trap. Like, you not a trap nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's niggas who real life trapped in Manning and made a lot of money in Manning and got up out of Manning. The goal to get out of it. Mm-hmm. So you got a lot of niggas who rap from the inside of it. Oh, I'm the jug king, and I'm the finesse king, and I'm this person, and I'm that person, and I'm from Manning. And then when a nigga go back, you got 20 niggas over here who doing the same thing, just who just don't rap, who don't have to get the gal to be a rapper. And they like, nigga, you ain't real, nigga. You speaking my story. Mm-hmm. But they don't want to even embrace the fact that you you telling their story. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't like you that much. But Versus you go to... Uh, Louisiana and a nigga be like, yo, Boosie, he giving me your, he giving me my story from the hood. Like, oh, that's why I fought with Boosie. Yeah, Boosie Boo, he giving you the story for all the ghetto kids. Mm-hmm. But versus man, and you got niggas who really don't do it, but tell you about it. Mm-hmm. And the, the the hood niggas don't even fuck with it because they like, yo, ah, nigga, you don't live my lifestyle. Nigga, how you going to rap about it, but you don't really live it? Yeah. Now, see, I, I've been through a lot of hoods. Like, I, I've lived in Coney Island, lived in uh, the 757, the Norfolk, the North Views, Newport News area. Uh, even lived in South Central LA, just just all over. But it's nothing like Clayco because of the undercover violence. There's nothing Clayco like- just got too many different personalities with people, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of drugs involved in that shit, like. You know, and it's, I can say drugs on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, this, it's this, a this. lot of drugs going on, man. It's a lot of people who really like do a lot of drugs, and and a lot of people look at certain drugs as party drugs, but really they are drugs. Like you gotta understand your mind under drugs, you know? like drugs. This is a lot. Clayco just got a lot of drugs, man. Now my 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 comedian homeboy, shout out to the Fresh Prince of Seven Five Seven. He said he can't. What? Yeah. He said he can't do hardcore drugs because he's 30 years old and he's on somebody's emergency contact list. I thought that was funny because, like, you can't be you can't be fucked up. Uh, yeah, see, that's the whole shit with, like, clinical rappers. And then, like, they get around other rappers and they want to prove to, like, 
Oh, I'm just I'm this person. Yeah, I pop pills and I do this and I do that. And I, mm-hmm. That shit is really not cool with click rappers. Mm-hmm. But as a state, man, like South Carolina, as a state, it's just everybody feels like, you know, I'm that one. I'm that one that's saying, well, you know what? He got something and he from Bishopville. Uh, like, it's a it's an artist in Bishopville right now. His name is Carolina Montana. Mm-hmm. Like, if y'all ain't heard him, like, he is really dope. He dope, like, Carolina Montana? he dope, like, Carolina, Montana. Shout nigga. out to Carolina, Montana. I'm going to make sure we check he, him out. Yeah, he is very dope. He's from Bishop Like, he dope. He got a different, he got a different vibe to him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I listen to him and just, like, okay, I like what he's doing. Then you got a nigga from Manning, like, uh, Bam Rock. And he's one of my artists, but he's different. He don't give you, he give you real man shit. Like, he don't give you no, oh, I shot a nigga 20 times. Mm-hmm. I'm hustling. I'm on my grind. Hmm. Go, 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 He not going to give you none of that stupid shit. He going to give you real shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's shit that he goes through. Then you got a nigga like uh, Mr. From the Met. Black hmm. Zach. Country C. Like, shout out to Country C. That's my cousin. That's my right hand man. You know what I'm saying? He teaches me a lot. But like, like, you got different artists, man. Like, from South Carolina who just do different shit. But then you got the local artists who are under those artists who lie about their struggle. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, you can tell, you know what I'm saying? You can tell because the hood ain't even fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Like, the hood ain't fucking with you. Like, when you got people like, you go on Facebook and you look at all your South Carolina friends and they sharing Black Zack, Mr. and Country C shit. Why they, not, why they not sharing your shit? Because it's different. Like, these niggas are really like, Telling the truth. Mm-hmm. Not even I ain't gonna say they they don't even have to tell the truth. But it's just their story is authentic. You saw they grind. You saw them from you can look at their videos and tell they grind, they work, you know, so you can see that they work and they, they get they getting better and better and better and better. Mm-hmm. But these niggas out here, they just run a lot. Like I saw one interview where a nigga said some shit about, Yeah, nigga, you see all these foreign cars and this, that and third, and he don't even have a driver's license. I was like, Wow. <laughs> only, only your own car. Wow. And so he, so, wow. so he's Uber Xing right now. Like he got I mean, somebody. He, he said, "You see all these foreign cars? You see what we doing? And he don't even own a license. He don't have a license <laughs> or a car." I was like, "Wow." So we got niggas out here Uber Xing, man. That nah, if you don't you know what that means, people see you. It sound good coming out your mouth, but really it ain't. You don't even own none of that. Like, you ain't got none of that going on. Like, you could say, oh, yeah, you see all these foreign cars my niggas driving. But really, you ain't even got a car. Like, you can't you can't, you can't, can't speak about shit that you ain't even doing. You feel me? Yeah. But that, that, that seems to be the most popular thing to do now. And I don't know what it uh, is. Uh, that shit is lame, bro. Like, that shit real life, man. Like, a nigga can't even, you couldn't even, uh, man, you can't even get on no track talking about certain shit that you ain't never did, yo. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to have real niggas who are going to question you. You know what I'm saying? You talking about flipping bricks and doing a brick? Come on, bro. Like everybody, I'm, I might have touched a brick, goddamn, in in a, in, in, in a three months span, piece by piece. But talking about having a whole one at one time, I never, I never had a plug. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I never touched a brick at one time. Mm-hmm. But I done moved it. You know what I'm saying? Like far as just buying, reing up, reing up, reing up, reing up. I'm I'm glad you mentioned the plug thing. You think that has become just a a, a trendy thing to say because everybody claims they have a plug. Oh, uh, the trendy thing is to be whatever you think is hot. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to glorify the trap. But see, that's pay attention to a lot of artists in South Carolina. They glorify the trap. They glorify they smoking the big gas and this that third. But nobody ever glorifies the struggle. Nobody ever glorifies what uh. What what's gonna happen if you do get caught? You know what I'm saying? Like you got niggas who been to jail. Don't get it twisted. I've been to prison, but they're not gonna tell you about the struggle in prison or how uh, niggas was running down on them in prison. And they was calling home, trying to yo big homie yo save me yo. These niggas is on my ass back here. Tell them I'm official because I don't know none of my lit. You feel me? Yeah. They not gonna do none of that. They but they not gonna rap about that. They not gonna tell you. When a nigga ran down on them. Mm-hmm. They're not going to tell you when a nigga robbed them. You know what I'm saying? Like me, nigga, I tell you all that shit. Mm-hmm. I done been robbed, shot at, shot back. All that shit. You feel me? Like, But everybody want to glorify the good. The, 
the positivities of selling drugs. Nobody want to glorify the negative. Yeah. Nobody going to tell you. They're not going to tell you that. You saw what Akon did. Akon bought a solar energy type You saw what T-Pain did. Uh, what, what did he do? T- well, I'm talking about just far as the trap. Like how they, uh, Akon did uh, locked up. They won't let oh, me out. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about as far as Akon building. No, no, no. Not, not, I'm just power. saying like as far as his music. When they gave you the struggle, that's when they blew. Yeah, yeah, they gave you the struggle. So I'm locked up, you won't, won't let, let me out. Uh, yeah, yeah, most of them. You see what I'm saying? So it was showing you, and he had uh, Styles P and D Block on it. You know what I'm saying? But it just shows you that you could get locked up. Mm-hmm. And that's why it was such a big hit because all everybody else was just want to glorify it. Mm-hmm. I just put 50,000 pounds up the rubber. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a <laughs> trapper. Like, come on, bro. Like, you got to tell the truth. It's, uh, it sounds good. It sounds it sound good. good, but a lot of things that niggas in South Carolina say sound good. But it's believable. Like, you can't get on there and talk about a foreign and you never even been in the foreign. You don't even got a picture online with you sitting in a foreign. Now, For real. now, now, explain the form because a lot of people think. Let me cop, um, a nineteen ninety two Benz. It's two thousand seventeen right now. Let me cop a nineteen ninety two Benz. It's not a form. And and call it a form. Oh no, it's not a form. But but let them form. Form right now in two thousand. It's two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. Form right now is a is an Audi. And some like we consider Benzes. We can send a uh we can send a uh Audi Benzes. Not really a Lexus. Mm-hmm. We can send a Benz a form. BMW they can send that a form. And anything else the average nigga ain't got a Jaguar, they might consider that a form. See I like how you said that. Anything the average nigga don't have. Like- yeah, the anything yeah, but they not gonna consider a Bugatti a form because nobody has a Bugatti. Mm-hmm. They talk about it. See, a dumb nigga uh, 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 think that a Corvette is a form. <laughs> nah, for real. A nigga wow. go get a 2018 vet, he'll be riding in the form. Wow. But that's not a form. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Corvette. It's, it's American, American made. made. It's American muscle, but, bro. Like I said, a dumb nigga, he not going to understand that. Like anything that a Bugatti, you got Teslas, you got all kind of cars. You know what I'm saying? But they don't, they don't, they not going to understand that shit what a form. They just going to look at the newest shit. Basically, a sucker nigga. And they can afford. <laughs> like, yeah, a southern nigga. Well, a, a sucker nigga, like what we say yeah, yeah, in the beginning sucker, of the show. Sucker, yeah, sucker, 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 sucker. Because cause that, that's hilarious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, of, that's the truth. Yeah, a lot of people use lingo that that's they don't the understand. That's the truth. That is the truth. Niggas use lingo that they don't understand all the time. Like, somebody said op, but they was using it the wrong way. And I asked them, and they didn't know that it they meant, said like, what op, like, they was opposite like, the opposition. Yeah, the opposition, but they, they didn't know that. Brotherly love overrides oppression. Anybody who's an oppressor is an op. Mm-hmm. O P P. Yeah, you were the opposition. You know what I'm saying? If you if you don't stand for what I stand for and you trying to see my demise, you are an op, my friend. Yeah. O P P. They was they, they was using the term wrong, right? Like, so what what was they saying? They was trying to like because I didn't agree with a saying that they said, they said I'm an op. Like a saying now, not oh no 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 no, they tripping. They yeah, tripping, tripping. it was just saying it because it's nobody's cool. gonna agree to the same thing. That's the beauty of like speaking this and, and talking to a person. No one has the same values or morals. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not realist. You know what I'm saying? So you got some people who lie a whole lot about life and lie to themselves. Mm-hmm. You know Preach. what I'm saying? You got you got you got a lot of black men who real life lie to themselves about life, and they don't understand that I'm. I'm at an age where I'm not even gonna give y'all my age because I give my age. I'm like, yo, this nigga tripping. But at a certain age of life, like we don't have much life left. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you 30, my man, 30, 32, 33, 34, the average black man lives to be about 65, 70, 80 is pushing it. But you don't find 95 year old black man, right or wrong. No, you, you don't. You don't. So 60 is a good age to die with a heart attack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cancer. Yeah. It took 60, 65. That's a good age to die as a black man. But y'all are 33, 34, 35, and y'all still trying to put on this image of being a nigga who sits in the trap all day, who sells drugs, dope boys, and uh, pushes 
and hustlers and motherfucking boss niggas who ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way. There's no way you can even try to be that. Because you got little niggas who out here who doing that shit right now as we speak. And I'm speaking from behind the game, you know what I'm saying? Because like, my days of that been over with. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm having an interview and there's somebody right now who real life in the motherfucking trap in, in the, the trenches. trenches. Yep, in the trenches. In the trenches. <laughs> You're living what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But I made it out. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can coach the game now because I'm out of the game. Yeah, you pop a bit. You, you yeah. pop a bit right now. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So if you still want to believe, want people to believe that this is your lifestyle, you are tripping, my man. Wow. See, that's, that's evolution right there. That's great. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's great. Hell yeah. That's growth. Man, you got to you got to evolve, man. If you ain't evolved, you if you went through a situation in life and you ain't evolved through it, then that was just your time wasted. Cause something something got to teach you something. It might sound funny, but you can learn a lot from a dummy, bro. So I got a theory that all these guys that keep going back to jail got boyfriends. So if they ain't learned their lessons, <laughs> they they must have boyfriends. Hey, nah, 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 listen, listen. I be calling it faggotry. I call it factory. Like, I got a thing called the art of niggatry. Because uh-huh. I see niggatry all the time. Uh-huh. Niggatry, we going to get into that. Yeah, we'll get but into that. But faggotry is like, a lot of niggas go to jail, right? But they don't feel like they're going to jail. They feel like, I'm tough in the streets. Mm-hmm. Arrgh, everybody going to respect me. I'm going to beat this person up. And then once they beat him up, they, the people they assault call the police so now you got assault and battery Mm -hmm. and you're already a felon so you go back to jail Mm -hmm. or you shoot at these people to be tough to try to look tough in front of a crowd Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying or go somewhere that you feel that you know you're not uncomfortable you got to take your strap so ah boy I'm going to go out here anyway and then you got to prove yourself and then once you prove yourself you're back in jail Mm -hmm. and then it gives you that faggotry look of boy damn this nigga always in jail but Sometimes you got to prove yourself to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Rapper disrespect me right now. A local rapper, mm-hmm. a local rapper. Mm-hmm. I'm beating them up. Oh yeah, on camera. Just because I want a person to feel me beating them up on camera. Like I like beating up local rappers. <laughs> For real. I, I, I just want to beat up people like on camera. Like, oh boom, you just, just gonna get beat up on camera. You gonna? Now, if you take it to anywhere else, then you know what I'm saying. Legal terms, law. The law might handle it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you want to get shoot shoot at me on camera, that's cool. Shoot at me on camera. The law will handle that because that's what you pay the law for. Mm-hmm. But I will beat you up on camera. I'm not going to shoot at nobody on camera. I do nothing crazy. I'll shoot nobody on camera. But I will beat you up on camera. I'll pay the, I'll pay the lawsuit. I mean, that, that's what 40 Glock got when he was talking shit about that's game. What, that's how I feel. Like, yeah. You know, I feel just like how game feel. I'll beat you up on camera. Yeah. There ain't nothing. But nah, it's just everybody want to be gangster and want to give you this image. So they do a lot of shit and feel like, well, I got to show the world this. And then when they go to jail, it's like, damn, you sent me to jail for goddamn eight years for nothing. So so gangster is a lifestyle. It's not a title. It is. Gangster is not a lifestyle. It, it's no such thing as a lifestyle with gangster. It's not even a title. So what? what so what's gangster? Gangster? Mm-hmm. So if you want to be a Negro or a nigger, mm-hmm. gangster be oh I'm gang banging. I got my pistol in my pocket, a crack pack over here in the bushes. Yeah, fiends coming. I'm making money. Nobody in the city gonna try me. That's gangster. Mm-hmm. I got a dope boy car outside. I could go in the studio and rap. That's gangster. That's not gangster. Mm-hmm. That's not gangster. Gangster is taking care of your motherfucking mama, your kids. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of your sister. When your bro fall off, you can help your bro. That's gangster. All right, so maybe I would. So it's not a no. It's not a. It's not. It's not. It's not a title, mm-hmm. because a hood nigga who 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 is hood, and is gangster. So he says mm-hmm. is gonna look at the street value of gangster. Mm-hmm. But a person like me to say, like I got a brother in law. This nigga never been in the streets. He met my sister at a young age. They had a baby. He got an apartment. He went and got a job. He take care of his his, his son. Mm-hmm. They had a daughter, a beautiful daughter, my niece. Mm-hmm. They had a daughter. Now she's pregnant again. They got a house, a garage, cars. They don't want for nothing. He, anything he wants, he gets. Anything my sister wants, she gets. Mm-hmm. That's gangster. Yeah, that is. That's... And he go to work every day. And he's a square. 
I'm he's a, a square. I'm a square. Shout out to all the squares. Nah, he's building. a square, bro. He don't do nothing. <laughs> Shout out to the squares. He wears cowboy boots, bro. Oh, no, nah, I'm not that square. Nah, he wears, <laughs> nah, he wears cowboy he's boots, He's a cube. <laughs> but he's a gangster, bro. That's gangster. He did what he was supposed to do. He took care of his. He made kids. He took care of them. He got his old lady a house. Shout out he, to Black His Friday, mom bro. good. He buy my mom whatever she wants. They that's, got a look. They got enough money to maintain their lifestyle, and they not bumming. That's dope. See, that's, they get whatever. That's gangster. Well, see, so, that's not dope. So gangsters that's gangster. Gangster's a, life, so gangster a lifestyle. Then. Nah, it's not a lifestyle because you can have twenty different lifestyles pertaining to the people. Now, if you like I said, I broke it down. If you asking a nigga what's gangster, he's gonna give you a different definition. Yeah, that's true. But you ask a real nigga what's gangster is making bread and taking care of your peoples. Man, I love. I love talking to grown ups because see those yeah, are so it's not really a lifestyle it's not classified as a lifestyle because a person gonna give you twenty different lifestyles of gangster. I shot at somebody that's gangster. I didn't hit him, I didn't kill him, but I will shoot that twenty niggas, that's gangster. Yeah. Oh, I fuck fifty bitches, that's gangster. I sell a pound a day, that's gangster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people give you different shit. But what about the nigga who sells the weed and don't and don't go to the club while all the dope boys going to the club and taking care of his little sister, little brother, because his mom out here strung out on coke. Man, that's man. gangster. And that's he's hella gangster. That's hella gangster. He's paying the rent at fifteen because his mom fucked up off drugs. Or, you don't think that's gangster? Or, 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 who was your who was your favorite gangster growing up? Like you. You got you got a lot of knowledge, bro. And you know oh, they say smart men. Man, to be real with you, man, my pops, yo. Your pops? Hell yeah. I, I met him. He was he more he's more of a funny funny guy. Like he's yeah, he's, he's gangster. What? Listen, man. To be real with you, yo, my pops can never really keep a job. You feel me? So he would hustle in between the time, but he was always in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like he was in the streets, like, and I was right there with him. And I used to have to drive him home, like. Uh, he was drunk. I used to have to drive home. But, like, he would be in the shit, like, early in the day. Like, him and his partners be fighting. And and I'm right there mm-hmm. seeing my dad them fighting. And they getting into it. And they busting at this person. And my uncle shooting at this person. And this, that, and third. But no matter what he did, how drunk he got, how much dope he sold, how much weed he sold, how much his partners was getting it, he came home. To his family, mm-hmm. and we always had food on the table. So that was, was the that was, was that what was the most gangster shit. Like, oh, yeah, this gangster. nigga, I be with this nigga, and I be in a shootout. Like they shooting, and I'm standing right there watching his friends shoot at these other niggas. Uh they fighting at the baseball game. Or uh, red man doing this, and he come home to his family, and we eat dinner and go to bed. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't, ain't nobody coming here to rob us. Ain't nobody coming to shoot up the house. None of that. Cause that's, they that's, knew. That's gangster. And, and, and speaking of speaking of father son, you have a you have a dope. Uh, you know what I'm saying? My little boy. Yeah, you have a dope son. Oh man, yo, listen, he is the dopest. Yo, he like he 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 gave me a new life. So is there anything that your father like instilled in you that you're gonna you know? Teach. Man, listen, to be real with you, my father was a drill sergeant. You know, I'm not as tough as my father was with me. Not right now, because I only got a five-year-old, but, man, yeah. uh, I really want to raise him the same way, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad and my mother always ain't got along. Like, they've been through this shit like any other marriage couple would do, you know what I'm saying? Like, and not even throw no shade on him, you know what I'm saying? But they went through this shit, and my, I'm not even going to speak on it, because my sisters and brothers would know what I'm speaking on, but mm-hmm. they went through this shit. But he always was a father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No matter what they went through, no matter the physical, domestic, whatever they was going through, you feel me? He was a father. He was still that stern motherfucker who was not about to let you do no crazy shit around him. Shout yeah. out to the real dads, man. That yeah, is. man. That's what it's about, man. And, and how but long? it ain't even being a dad. Yo, as a black man, if you ain't got kids, just teach the youth and it, tell the youth the truth. Yeah. That's what I hate with artists. They lie to the youth. Yeah. You got people, like, you want the youth to follow you and fuck with you and support you, and you want to have a fan base, but you lie to your fans. Yeah, yeah. Tell these people the motherfucking truth. But see, the the truth will set people free, and, and they they, man, they, listen, they don't want to be free. The truth will take you in a direction that you'll never think that you could go in. 
Like you out here lying about all this bullshit. The truth could really put you in a situation. Cause you could you telling the truth. Like why lie? It, a like lot. you really telling the truth. The truth will put you in a better situation. Cause people gonna feel it. Cause everybody who sees, you got people who real life know the truth out here. But a lie is more entertaining. Like a lie is more entertaining. But a lie is only carried by a person who spreads the lie, who tells the lie, or a fool. Yeah. Other, how does the lie get created? Shit. From Somebody got to tell it. Yeah. Somebody got to listen Somebody to it. Somebody got to listen to it. Who spreads it? Mm-hmm. Somebody got to listen to it. And that's the fool. Mm-hmm. A lie don't exist. A lie really don't exist. You either got to tell the lie. Mm-hmm. You got to see. You got to look at the lie. Watch the lie. Mm-hmm. Or spread the lie. Mm-hmm. A lie. It don't exist. Yeah. Only a fool carry a lie. That that's that's come on yo. That that's for real, man. And and for now on, when people come to me with lies, like I'm just yeah, come I, on, man. It Why don't lie, exist man? to me. If if, if it, it don't exist, cause it, it it's somebody making it a lie is some is something that's made up. A lie does not exist. An uh, allegation. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's an allegation, but it don't exist. A lie don't exist. Speaking of allegations, oh man, speaking of allegations, we the, I I love the the thing about this podcast that I love like. We can talk about local. We get yeah. in depth, like. And let me get some coffee. Oh man, uh, shit! We we can take a commercial, quick commercial break, yeah. and 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 let the people hear some good music real quick. In fact, I I, I want to play that go live. Uh, we've been talking for quite a minute. I'm gonna let the sponsors play go live, and this is from Amaratois himself. In fact, I'm gonna let him introduce it. Okay. Hey, this is my new motherfucking single, "Go Motherfucking Live" off the mixtape. Twin Sins, you can get that shit on uh, iTunes, Spinrilla, YouTube, Facebook, motherfucking Twitter. Motherfucker, you can call my motherfucking phone, I'll send you that motherfucker. But go live, check this shit out. Go motherfucking live. Turn your phone around, baby. I promise you it's all lies. Social media thug ass niggas. <laughs> Go live. Herbs on a beat. Herbs on a beat. Herbs on a beat. Herbs on a beat. Go live. Yeah, hey, I'ma get your views up with this one, baby. This one, baby. Just, just go live. Just go live. It's a movie. I get to Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram popping. Turn your phone around. Let me see who's watching. Go live. Go live. Go live. Go live. Go live. Go live. Go live, go live, go live. Get DM flooded inbox doing numbers. Damn. Hashtag my name, tag me in or something. Go live, 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 go live. Log into your Facebook and go live. We about to turn this club up in front of your eyes. You bitch, you know it's bottles popping when the pimp is in the building. Shitting on these local rappers, plus they all my children. Following me. You ain't following me, nah, go and add Don Biddy, ball of 703 Put right your cameras on me, all cameras on me I'ma turn your live up, Snapchat and IG Put my cup all in your shit, let your viewers read my name Don't Dang. forget about the Taylor suit, frames in the game Dang. I'm a motherfucking main, chopping motherfucking game I leave out this motherfucking club with your main I get you Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram popping Turn your phone around, let me see who's watching. Go live, 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 go live. Get DM flooded inbox doing numbers. Hashtag my name, tag me in or something. Go live, 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 go live. Get to DM flooded, baby. 30,000 views one night. Promise you, world star, we make the news. Take a twit, pick a twizzy, dig it, let them know I'm with it. Take an Instagram or Snapchat, just to know I hit it. Everybody in the building going motherfucking live. Baby, turn your phone around, promise you it's all lies. Emojis going stupid, hearts jumping, thumbs going up. Got kicked off the book last week, I ain't been on Twitter in months. Stay a trending topic, guilty popping, girl, I'm what you need. Bring it back, I'll kill your time, not fuck up your news. I'm a real OG, you can FaceTime me Turn your phone around, baby, let me see what you see I get to Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram popping 
turn your phone around. Let me see who's watching. Go live. 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 Your DM flooded inbox doing numbers. Damn. Hashtag my name. Tag me in or something. Go live. Go live. Go live. Yo, 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 it's your number one podcast, Chat With Sleep. Make sure you stay tuned, that was Go Live, and up next is that gas. Got the ash, smoking by the zip, zip. I'm smoking by the bag. Yeah. We up in the VIP, Woo. we done blow the half. Yeah. She got it in jars, Woo. I might roll a doobie. Yeah. After we leave this club, baby, what you doing? What you doing? She gon' smoke some more, Woo. and I'ma keep on puffing. Shorty on the other shit, but she just keep on bluffing. Yeah. I am really high, I might take a trip to Mars. Mars. She like I see cotton. I do. I like Xanax bars, baby. This pretendo, smoking like some endo. I got some real gas. It's right outside of my rental. It's that gas. It's that gas. Only thing we smoke is that gas. It's that gas. It's that gas. Only thing we smoke is that gas. It's that gas. It's that gas. Only thing we smoke is that gas. This that gas. This that gas. Only thing we smoke is that gas. Smoking presidential gas to make you choke and hit the dab. You can catch me on the gram eating oyster steak and crab. Smoking hella gas. Smoking out the bag. If you got them virgin lungs, then it'll make the dab. I'll be all up on Snapchat with fat sacks of that sour D. Rolling up. Your baby moms get high with me uh, But no, she can't ride with me Alright, let a bitch get high for free She just wanna be seen on the side of me And get followed by who follows me It's that gas It's that gas Only thing we smoke is that gas It's that gas It's that gas Only thing we smoke is that gas It's that gas It's that gas only thing we smoke is that gas. This that gas. This that gas. Only thing we smoke is that gas. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Chat welcome with back. Sleep. I'm here with Armora Twiz, and this is brought to you by Armora Twiz and Wizzy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, every week, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, every, don't mind me because I've been day. drinking on the, on the podcast. You know, I've been drinking. Hey, we. You know, we have no rules drinking. up here. No okay, rules okay, up here. Okay, no filters. Actually, any any guests that want to pop up on the podcast, make sure you bring a bottle. That's the rule. All right, yeah, bring a bottle. Make sure you Whatever bring a bottle. Whatever you drinking, we drinking. Yeah, yeah. That's how we, we gonna just, do it. We just gonna talk. All right, so we're getting back into our sports segment right now. Okay. 
and uh, it's looking real good in the NFL if you're a Patriots fan. The Patriots right now stand at number one with a record of 12-3. and three. I'm not a Patriots fan, you know what I'm saying? My dad, a uh, Minnesota Vikings, shout out to the Vikings. I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan by uh, by nature. My grandfather's a Cowboys fan, which I hate the Cowboys because Jap, my homeboy, he loves the Cowboys. So fuck the Cowboys, Jappalini. Uh Ryan Witherspoon, which is Bam. Bam Raw, he loves the Redskins. I, I'm just Minnesota Vikings. My dad, Minnesota Vikings. But I don't know much about football. I know that we good, though, right now. <laughs> hey, and good you guys are because you sit at number two right now. That's right. The that in, is- uh, the Minnesota Vikings is number two, and they also have a record of 12 and three. Yeah. Go, Minnesota Vikings. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get me a, uh, the Viking hat, yo. <laughs> all right, so our top three teams, surprisingly, all have the same record of 12 and three. And can you guess who the number three ranking is? That's right. The number one, the number three is the Steelers. That's right. Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, Pittsburgh. After surprising Christmas Day game. Shout out to Colin Kaepernick. (laughs) I got to give a shout out to Kaepernick. I love what he's doing right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like he moving the culture. He's not even pushing football. He's pushing the culture. He's becoming a black idealistic person Mm -hmm. because of the culture, like what black people are going through. He's like standing up for black people. And he's not a black person. I mean, he's a black person, but he's not even a black African Negro as the white people will look at us. I, I get I get so upset at those that, uh, that are upset that he's taking a knee. And it's like... You you guys don't realize that he's taking a knee for people that have no voice. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but like he's standing up for us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's standing up for us right now. Like he's standing up. Yeah. And he's going against a scholarship and going against making buku billions of uh, uh millions of money. You know what I'm saying? He's really like standing up. Like he's taking a pay cut for what he's going through right now. Oh yeah. Like he real life is taking a pay cut. You ain't seen that since uh. Uh, Jordan and uh, Pippen and Robin uh, taking a, taking a pay cut for, for to get Robin for the greater good. Yeah, for the greater good. Mm-hmm. He's really he's standing up. I, I I love it. I love anyone who does anyone who sacrifices something. Shout out to the Vikings. Oh yeah, shout out to the Vikings. <laughs> shout out to the Vikings. <laughs> anyone who sacrifices, you know what I'm saying, for the yeah, greater he good is great. His fame for for the greater of good. Speaking of sacrifice, uh, St. Louis sacrificed the Rams, and it was for the greater good. Because if you know the St. Louis Rams. They were horrible. They were trash. And right now, the L.A. Rams is number four. 11 and four record. That is amazing. The Rams ain't going to win it this year, though. Uh, uh, hey, Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> Minnesota Vikings, man. I am proud of the Rams. And if you know where the Rams are going to be, they're going to be in the Inglewood area. Shout out to Inglewood. That's in L.A. Uh, that's that's good business for homeowners and all that around there. So yeah. I, I love seeing yeah, that. It boosts the culture. Boosting it boosts, the culture. It, it, boosts, it boosts the city. It, it gives a new light to the city. I wish South Carolina had a, like a, a real live team. But like I'm a Gamecock fan, and I like uh, Clemson because it all represents South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? But I'm a Gamecock by nature. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? But if Clemson win, I want to see Clemson win. I and, just want to see my state win. And, and the speaking of, of winning, I'm proud of New Orleans because as a as, New Orleans as a as music, New Orleans has been killing it. Man, just surviving Katrina. People don't realize what natural uh, disaster does they to you. They realize making a way. Mm-hmm. Like New Orleans, like even even with the football, they making a way. Like they got shows and TV. They bringing the light to their city. Like you see, uh, Pitbull and Parolees is in New Orleans. You see, uh, Street Outlaws. Shout out to Street Outlaws. I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love the, the racing. But, you know, my cousin Country she he do the dunk, dunk racing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him, too, with the dunk racing. The dunk racing big. You know what I'm saying? We do it in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Everybody love dunks. Everybody love old school. We like big rims. We like loud music. We like candy paint. You know what I'm saying? We doing that shit for the dunk racing. But I love racing. I love how New Orleans is showing off with their racing, showing off with their, their culture, showing, showing everything. Like, you see... All these movies and all these shows, and then you see the Mardi Gras era. They just they revamping their city. 
Man, it's a beautiful thing. Speaking of revamping, how about the Philadelphia Eagles who revamped their season after losing their quarterback? And they are in at number six free right meat now. Free Meat Mills. <laughs> I, I, I don't know much about football, but Free Meat Mills. Free, free, free Meat Mills. That's Philly. That's Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? That's Philly. Yes, sir. Philly is. Philly Philly always going to be Philly. Like They're going to they gonna do what they're supposed to do to get by. And sneaking in at number seven and eight, we have the Carolina Panthers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't like Carolina, but I'm <laughs> from Carolina. But Cam Newton with the dab, you know, he dabbing. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Migos kind of set that trend with Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? The Falcons, they, they, I don't know where the Falcons at. <laughs> the Dirty Birds. They, Dirty I, Birds at what? They hold it, they hold it in there. The Dirty Birds are actually at 11. The Ravens are at number 10 Shout out to right the now. Dirty Birds, man. Shout out to Atlanta Falcons. And the Chiefs at 9. So that that's all. That's yeah. a, that's that's looking pretty good for our wrap up as far as sports, man. Uh okay. who who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> yeah, we don't win. We don't win, you know what I'm saying? We don't win. We don't win, but well, you know what I say each and every year. Carolina Panthers is going to the Super Bowl. So, uh, Shout out to Cam. Cam it, doing his thing, He's though. doing his thing. It's looking like it's going to be another Superman. Patriots Super Bowl win, though. You got to pull, got to, got to, got to pull the goddamn the, the vest back and show him the, show him the cape, show him, the, show him the, the S on the chest. You know what I'm saying? You got to pull that shit back. <laughs> yes, sir. And that's, that's a wrap on our sports segment. All right, we're going to go into a song right now that's called Drip. Man, in fact, I feel like playing Curry because we're talking about Curry sports. Is, Curry is that shit. That's that. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 my single of uh I'm uh of my mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Control substance. Curry is man. Curry is just dope. He's talking about being a score, like scoring in the game. Like a lot of people be in the game, but they don't score. Like you gotta accomplish something out the game. That's how I feel. Like it ain't about what you do while you in the game. It's about what you accomplish while you in the game. It ain't about how much money you got while you in the dope game. It's about what you accomplish. Like, taking care of yours, doing yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to just accomplish something. Mm-hmm. Like, it's about accomplishments. Curry is a dope song, man. Here's my new single, uh, Curry, off my mixtape, Control Substance. This is Amon Ratui speaking to you. I want y'all to listen to this shit. Y'all going to fuck with it. I need some coffee. Awesome liquor. All right. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and you're on chat with Sleep, and we'll be back. Every day I play high school ball, and I was good too. You know what I'm saying? Like man, I practice after practice outside the neighborhood. I had a nice jump shot. Used to have cool dreams till I met crack fiends. Now I just own the team. Yeah, I sell a lot. I pass the rock, take a shot, 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 I pass the rock, pass the rock, take a shot, I 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 pass the rock. Used to run the plays, now I run the plays. Used to shoot three, now I sell the trays. Got everybody in the hood eating. Looking like I'm scoring from the bleachers. High school fuck the teachers. Made more money off features. Everybody around me dumb. It's looking like my whole team won. Yeah, but the arenas in the gym. Cuz in the lock, I kept that gun. Cross a nigga up like Iverson. Never give a fuck about Fernie. Got your baby mama on film. Get a bitch shooting in the gym. Take a shot, I pass the rock. Take a shot, I pass the rock. Take a shot, I pass the rock. Pass the rock, pass the rock, pass the rock. Take a shot, take a shot, I pass the rock. 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 Used to have most people. Why would most people?
that you're not obs obsessed with it. You're obsessed with making money. You're obsessed with taking your business to the next level. And can I be honest with you guys? When you become obsessed with improvement, I will spend more time learning in Australia than I will speak. I'm going to say it again because you missed it. I will spend more time sitting under people. I will spend more time learning than I will speaking in this country. I will walk away with stuff I never heard before, books I've never read before, audios I've never seen before, going to conferences that I've never gone, hanging out with people that I've never hung out with before. This is nothing. I deserve more than all y'all niggas Made a way for me and all my niggas I deserve more than all y'all niggas Made a way for me and all my niggas I deserve more than all y'all niggas Made a way for me and all my niggas I deserve more than all y'all niggas Say I deserve more than all y'all niggas Let it go
religion, they pray and we fall. We mad and we ball. We package the raw. I'll send out the shooters, it just takes one call. All right, all right. That was a series of hot music from Carolina artists, and Yo. we will be dropping links for you guys to follow those artists. Man, this this podcast is going to put nothing but raw talent in your face. And speaking of, of raw talent, we have Amara Twiz on deck with us right now. He's been rocking with us the whole show. And already, they they heard two songs from you already. Okay. How, how are you liking it? Man, uh, we'll, we'll find out in the comments. Make sure everyone comment. Comment, 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 share, subscribe. We are nothing without you. That's right. We're giving you all the power as a listener. I love my fans. I love haters. I love criticism. I love all that. Like, all criticism can do is make me better. Yes, sir. Like, I'm with all that. Like, you smell like, like a million that. bucks, man. What, what kind of cologne man, is that? I'm just shining, man. This is just some money, man. This is just some money on me right now, man. Oh, man. I need this a couple hundreds, money, then. Man. This, you need a couple hundreds, I got you. <laughs> I'm going to off camera. You know what I'm saying? For tax, tax purposes. You know what I'm tax write-offs and all yeah. that. <laughs> That's for tax purposes. We're going to do that off camera. But <laughs> nah, yo, I just, I just love the money, man. I just like the grind, man. I just like the hustle. I just like the, you know what I'm saying? I like to do me, man. 2018, man, I'm going to be dropping control subs. I'm not going to give y'all no date because if I give y'all a date, y'all got to hold me to that. But I got to go through, you know, a little, a little bit of uh, legal fees with that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is right that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is residual. You know what I'm saying? For me. Oh, we- and I'm dropping uh, more than a mixtape. Not more than a mixtape, but more to it. Mm-hmm. With Bam Ra. You know what I'm saying? Church on the Move with uh, Don Biddy Baller. Uh... Ja from the East, you know what I'm saying? That's that's ja I'm from Raja, the East. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm Raja, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit gonna drop. And I got a lot of like feature projects, you know what I'm saying? Me and my nigga, uh me and my nigga, we gonna do this Jug uh Jug Brothers mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Me and my nigga Lope. Oh man. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. And then I got uh my my, my actual videographer, you know what I'm saying? Chat with sleep. Chat with sleep. We gonna, we gonna do Cupid. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do Cupid, man. Cupid gonna be dope. Like it's a lot of projects, y'all just gotta be there. And we got a lot of party, we got a lot of events, you know what I'm saying? We doing like a mother's day, we're doing a father's day, we got a lot of events, parties and shit. You can just be in tune with me, man. Follow me, man, fuck with me. So two thousand eighteen is a fun, festive, like Yeah, uh, man. It just we just revamping the whole South Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Like we trying to do all that, you know what I'm saying? We trying to just 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 bring it home, man. You know what I'm saying? We're doing a whole lot for South Carolina. So basically if you're not with us, two thousand eighteen is gonna be two thousand eighteen. If, if, if you're not with us, it's two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Like that might be a mixtape. We might just give you that. But it's gonna be a lot of little feature mixtapes and EPs gonna drop. The whole twenty eighteen. The eighteen. Oh man. I, I think that we can squeeze out thirteen mixtapes. Yeah, with no problem. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole thing is we just going to get to it. Like, 2018, 2018, you're going to hate us or either you're going to love us. If you love us, you're going to fuck with the music. You're going to fuck with the uh, the podcast. Like, I got different people pulling up to come do the podcast with us. You know what I'm saying? Can, can we get Kayla Walker on the show? Like, I I, I, just, I just... Oh, want... yeah. She uh she she with the shit, you know what I'm saying? And she got a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, she, she, like, she kind of signed to us, but she not really signed to me. She's hot in the city, man. But she's I've... dope, man. Like she's she's a dope female. You know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all ladies want to buy some dresses, some outfits, go to Red Diamond Boutique. Shout out to Red Diamond Boutique. Y'all will be popping. She got you. She got what you need. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to like a video vixen, she is with this shit. She will dress you. You know what I'm saying? She's a stylist by nature. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and that's all talented in, in the city of something. Yeah, she from here. She from she from she actually from Pinewood, South Carolina. And she is she's dope, man. Like she is dope, you know. Get with her, get lost, yo. She's dope. Man, uh let's see, let's see. What other what other businesses uh the oh, fuzzies. Fuzzies uh barber shop. Great yeah, great even, barber. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of black barbers, you know what I'm saying? Like 
Shop with black people, man. We're going to get our own city. We're going to get our own black neighborhoods, our own black grocery stores, our own black banking. Like, that's all. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to agree to the good of black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Kaepernick again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fist in the air. You know what I'm saying? I'm Huey P. Twizzy P. However you want to say it. Like, black owned businesses. You know what I'm saying? Like, support the black cause, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're coming up on our uh, our hour mark, ladies and gentlemen. I, I I would love to keep this around the hour mark. And, and stay tuned for the next show. It's going to be just as entertaining, uh, just as well thought out. Oh, yeah. Well opinionated. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just tune in, everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm Amaro Twiz. I'm checking out, man. Follow me on every social media if you can. I'm not even gonna give you my social media. I'm gonna give you the links in the video. So y'all just y'all just follow me, man. Watch my moves, man. Watch my drip, man. We gonna we gonna take off, man. 2018, 2018. Get with us. Get lost. If you ain't with us, you're against us. I'm out. And you already know who it is, man. Legacy of Sleeper. And this is Chat with Sleep, and we are live and motherfucking direct. Yes, sir. Shout out to the sponsors, Amara Inc. Once again, we out.